English Listening Test Part 7 Designed for A2 Learners This test consists of 20 questions which are divided into four parts. I will give you a short instruction at the beginning of each part. Before we get started, take a pen and paper so you can take notes while listening. Are you ready? Let's get started. Part 1. Listen to Vanessa talking about the bad habits of teenagers and be ready to answer the true or false questions. Teenagers are at a stage in life where they are learning a lot and trying to understand the world around them. Sometimes they can pick up bad habits. Today, I want to talk about some common bad habits many teenagers have. Many teenagers spend a lot of time on their phones. They use social media, play games, or watch videos. While it's fun to stay connected and entertained, spending too much time on the phone can be bad for their eyes and can take time away from studying, sleeping, and spending time with family and friends. Teenagers often stay up late at night, either on their phones, watching TV, or doing other activities. This can make them very tired during the day which can affect their ability to concentrate and perform well in school. Lack of sleep can also affect their mood, making them feel grumpy or stressed. They sometimes eat a lot of junk food like chips, candy, and fast food. These foods are high in sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats, which are not good for their health. Eating too much junk food can lead to problems like obesity, poor skin, and lack of energy. Many teenagers don't get enough exercise. They might prefer to stay indoors and watch TV, play video games, or use their computers instead of going outside to play sports, ride a bike, or take a walk. Regular exercise is important for staying healthy, keeping a good weight, and feeling good both physically and mentally. Teenagers often delay doing their homework or chores until the last minute. This is called procrastinating. When they procrastinate, they might feel stressed and rushed, which can lead to lower quality work and lower grades. It can also cause conflicts with parents and teachers who expect them to manage their time well. True or false? Part 2. Listen to a conversation and be ready to complete the sentences. What did you think of Singapore? What's it like? Well, Singapore is very old. It's older than Hong Kong, but it's a lot smaller. Hong Kong has a population of 8 million, and it's enormous. Hong Kong is much bigger than Singapore, and it's much noisier, too. Oh, okay. What about business? What's it like to do business in these places? Well, they're both top financial centers, but Hong Kong is more important. It's better for investment. Ah, right. And the building? Are they all new? Yeah, there are a lot of new buildings in Hong Kong, so it's more modern than Singapore. 
but it isn't as cosmopolitan. Half the population of Singapore are foreigners. Wow, really? What about Dubai? What's that like? Dubai is the newest and youngest city, and it's the most modern. I like it because it has a can-do feel to it. What about the climate in these places? What was the weather like? It's interesting. Singapore is very near the equator, so it's a lot hotter than Hong Kong. But it isn't as hot as Dubai. Dubai is the hottest place. When I was there, the temperature was over 40 degrees. Wow, that's incredible. Singapore is very humid, so it's wetter than Hong Kong. But Dubai is the driest. It only rains for a few days a year. Where did you like most of all? Where was best for you? For me, Hong Kong is the best because it's the busiest and the most exciting. There are so many things to do. The best restaurants, theaters, shops. It's got everything. Choose the correct option. Part 3. Listen to 5 conversations and be ready to answer the true or false questions. Isn't it your birthday this month, Laura? Hey, it was a week ago. Oh, sorry. I forgot all about it. So, did you have a big party or something? No, I had to study because of the exams at school. Have you had your birthday yet, Adam? No. It's in two months. Oh, that's right. So, what are you planning to do this time? I'm going to New York with my mom and dad. Hey, fabulous. Have you had your birthday yet, Rachel? No, it's not till next month. Don't forget this time. Don't worry, I won't. I'm planning to have a barbecue. Is your birthday this month or next month, Matthew? I can't remember. Oh, it was a month ago. Really? So how was it? It was okay, but very quiet. I had a family party at home. Oh, that sounds nice. Did you have fun at your birthday party, Jessica? Yes, it was awesome. Thanks for coming. The cake was delicious. Did you get any cool presents? Yeah, I got some great gifts. It was a blast. I'm glad you had a good time. True or false?
Part 4. Listen to five people talking about their city's biggest problem and be ready to complete the sentences. In my city, the biggest problem is traffic. There are too many cars on the road, and it causes a lot of pollution. People spend hours stuck in traffic jams every day. I think the solution is to improve public transportation, so more people can take buses and trains instead of driving. This would reduce the number of cars on the road and make the air cleaner. Our city has a big problem with garbage. People throw trash everywhere, and it makes the city dirty and smelly. The garbage can also attract rats and insects, which is bad for health. To solve this, we need more garbage bins on the streets and stricter fines for littering. We also need to educate people about the importance of keeping the city clean. The biggest issue in my city is crime. There are many robberies and thefts, which make people feel unsafe especially at night. Businesses are also affected because customers are afraid to go out. We need more police officers on the streets to protect the community and catch criminals. Better street lighting and security cameras could also help reduce crime. Homelessness is a serious problem in my city. Many people don't have a place to live and they sleep on the streets. This is not safe for them, especially in bad weather. I believe the solution is to build more affordable housing and provide better support services, such as job training and mental health care, to help people get back on their feet. In my city, the problem is noise pollution. There is always a lot of noise from cars, construction, and people. This constant noise causes stress and sleep problems for many residents. We should have stricter noise control laws to limit loud activities, especially at night. Creating quiet zones in busy areas could also help people find some peace. Choose the correct option. Don't forget to share your score in the comments section. If you haven't taken our previous listening tests yet, the playlist link is in the description below. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe because more valuable content is on the way. See you in our upcoming videos.